Hi, my name is Matthew Smith, and this is my audition video for the Texas Shakespeare Festival. I'm a junior here at IUP, which is Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Uh, Indiana is a town located about uh, an hour northeast of Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, and I want to audition for the Texas Shakespeare Festival, uh, one, because you allow audition videos so I don't have to go up to New York or down to DC to audition. Uh, that's really nice. Um, it's a very attractive uh, student internship, actor internship program, and I'd really like to get some professional experience under my belt before I graduate. Um, in terms of what I have that I think qualifies me to work at the Texas Shakespeare Festival, um, I'm I have an extremely good work ethic. Um, I've been in several main stages here at IUP every semester. Um, I also have a passion for stage combat. Uh, I'm an actor combatant with the Society of American, five uh, Society of American Fight Directors uh, and have five recommended passes. I also started a stage combat club here at IUP, uh, which I am currently president and we're looking to do a showcase here at the end of the semester. Uh, the pieces I'll be doing for you today, I'm doing uh, On the Street Where You Live from My Fair Lady. I will be doing a Hotspur monologue from Henry IV, Part One, and Graciano's monologue from The Merchant of Venice. Thank you very much. But for my own part, my lord, I could be well contented to be there, in respect of the love I bear your house. He could be contented. Why is he not then? In respect of the love he bears our house. Well, he shows in this he loves his own barn better than he loves our house. Let me see some more. The purpose you undertake is dangerous. Why? That's certain. Tis dangerous to take a cold, to sleep, to drink. But I tell you, my lord fool, from this nettle, danger, we pluck this flower. Safety. The purpose you undertake is dangerous. The friends you have named, uncertain. The time itself, unsorted and your whole plot too light for the counterpoise of so great an opposition. Say you so. Say you so. Well, I say unto you again, you are a shallow cowardly hind, and you lie! Our plot is as good a plot as ever was laid, and our friends true and constant. A good plot, a good friends, and full of expectation. An excellent plot. Very good friends. What a frosty spirited rogue is this? Why, my Lord of York commends the plot and the general course of the action. By this hand, if I were now by this rascal, I could brain him with his lady's fan. Is there not my father, my uncle, and myself, Lord Edmund Mortimer, my Lord of York, and Owen Glendower? And is there not besides the Douglas? Have I not all their letters to meet me in arms by the ninth of the next month? And are they not some of them set forward already? What a pagan rascal is this? An infidel. And... <sighs> and you shall see in very sincerity of fear and cold heart 
will he to the king and lay open all our proceedings? Oh, I, I could divide myself and go to buffets for moving such a dish of skim milk was so honorable in action. Hang him. Let him tell the king we are prepared. I will set forwards tonight. and laughter let old wrinkles come, and let my liver rather heat with wine than my heart cool with mortifying groans. Why should a man, whose blood is warm within, sit like his grandsire cut in alabaster, sleep when he wakes, and creep into the jaundices by being peevish? I tell thee what, Antonio. I love thee, and tis my love that speaks. Now, there are a sort of men whose visages do cream and mantle like a standing pond, and do a willful stillness entertain, with, with purpose to be dressed in an opinion of wisdom, gravity, profound conceit. As who should say, I am, sir. An oracle, and when I ope my lips, let no dog bark. <laughs> oh, my Antonio, I do know of these that therefore are only reputed wise for saying nothing. When I am very sure, if they should speak, would almost damn those ears which, upon hearing them, would call their brothers fools. <laughs> 